Alright folks, and welcome back to this what wonderful game. You is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul U. Uh -huh. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. Uh -huh. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine Yuan have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning the one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up you one. Well, that <coughs> is very, very interesting. If only we had the Soul Cube. We do not. Because it is gone. Oh no. What will we ever do? Let's just unfocus the scanner. And not get hit by one of those things. Because I actually got hit by one of those. Not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, there's a health station over here. There's a PDA which we are going to read. And that keyboard is built in. Also, there's a video disc. Let's read the PDA of Larry Bullman. Blog and blog and blog. Blog and blog and blog. Martian buddy is a douchebag. Blog and blog and blog and blog. And the Soul Cube is definitely a weapon. Which it is, folks. It is. Uh, this is the audio log of Research Director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. Uh huh. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time we have not seen any reaction from the cube and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of log. That is one hell of a paperweight you got there. <coughs> So, we are going to save, and we are going to find this wonderful thing known as the Soul Cube. However, it is not here on Earth because... I have the Soul Cube in hell, and you will never find it. Never, never say never, buddy. Never say never. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought I killed him. What you see before you <laughs> I literally thought I killed him, but I guess I didn't. Also, this... Oh. Yeah, we don't want to mess with that. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not want to mess with that. 
And um, I'm not going to tell you the reason. Actually, I will tell you the reason. Um, I know that you're not supposed to mess with it because if you mess with it, something bad is going to happen. And by something bad, I mean an imp is going to hug you. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious there, so. Hello, douchebag. God damn it. Have some machine gun. Exchange for your life. Oh boy. Bye, everyone. Okay. <laughs> so, let's be prepared with the rocket launcher now. Damn it. Yeah, that's what you get. Don't don't even don't even try Doom Guy. Don't you dare. It's not it's not cool. Not cool at all. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going in this place of hell. God damn it, imp! How did I tell you? It's not cool for you to just randomly come out of nowhere either! But no, what do you do? You just randomly come out of nowhere. Good for you, you little prick. Oi. We gotta go in here to figure out how to open those things. Because we just have to go in here. Also, apparently running up the, uh, the chair is pretty exciting. I don't know. Just listen to this PDA or look at her PDA, because apparently this is a female. 725-463. Okay. 725-463. and 463. We're going to go in here first, because we want to. And it is very, very important that we go in here. Also, there's a Martian buddy. We don't want to deal with Martian buddy. Because it's a piece of crap, and I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna go in there. Not even gonna try. I don't even want to. Don't even want to go in there. It's just bologna sandwiches. That's all it is. Just a bunch of bologna sandwiches. Alright, I think this was 725. Or did we already use that one? No, we already used that one. It was the 3 one, wasn't it? Derp, 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 463. 463. There we go. In we go to more blood and guts of hell. Because nothing could go wrong here. Hi, Arkvile, how you doing? Ow. Not today, Sunny Jim. Not today. What the hell? Aw, oh, man, I ran into that? Seriously? Uh. Oh well, luckily we have supplies in here, which is good to know. It's really good to know. Alright, I'm going to save and we're going to call the lift. You thought it was going to say, call it, call it an LP, did, did you? Didn't you? Oh, you silly gooses. Okay, so, um... I'm trying to eat some pumpkin pie here, game. Ooh, look who's down there. Yeah, you guys fap on over there, you douchebags. Look at them walk. They're just horribly walking. Like, we will follow you, Batruga. We love you. Hardy har har har. Alright, let's go. Yeah, hey, you. Don't you walk away from me, boy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I shot you in the shoulder. You should have died. Oh god. We have this nugget to deal with. I just hate these kinds of nuggets. Uh. Ow. 
know what? You know what? After you finish firing your machine gun, have a grenade. There we go. That works. You freaking prick. I think there's an infant here too. Why would you destroy the bridge? What did the bridge ever do to you, intruder? Huh? Did he call you a name you didn't like? Such as a faggot? Or a prick? Or any other insulting name that I can think of? I don't know why I'm saying things like that. It's very bad. I'm just gonna stop saying things like that and open the lock. Access granted. Hello. You dead, sucker. You dead. Sucks to be him. Alright, let's go. Stop it. Help you? Why would I help you? Do you need help uh, taking a crap? Is that what you need help on? Do you need help uh, wiping your butt? I can't help you in that case. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Oh lord. Things are shooting me in the face. And look at my reflection in the mirror, it's a piece of a maze. I don't know what I'm singing, but I'm singing it in the bathroom. It is one pretty doomed bathroom, cause it doesn't have any names. And I got some armor shards, which I don't know why they are in the bathroom, but they're in the bathroom anyways. And we're gonna get out of here. Somebody had some bloody diarrhea. Oh, good lord. I hear them. Come here. Come on. Come out from wherever the heck you are, please. Don't make me waste all of my grenades. That's just not nice. He, he's gonna be a douche about it, and he's just gonna... Make me waste all of my grenades. I'm out of here. Going to the bathroom. Gonna take a crap, because uh, this is not cool. He really felt that one. He was just like, ugh! Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get, you little prick. You have this too. Ugh! Actually, you don't even deserve that. What? Oh, you've got to be joking me. You've just got to be joking me. Have a bloody grenade, you maggot. Oh, no. No, 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 no. God damn it. Come on, Imp. Come to the bathroom and have some fun with me. I just made this place so bloody, it's not even bloody anymore. Also, there's that douchebag. Grenade away! Did he die? You say he died. I hope he died, because if he didn't die, I'd be really depressed. Just like I am right now, I will be right back. Sorry about that, folks. Freaking calls that are stupid are currently happening right now. Also, we will be going in there pretty soon. Because as you saw in there, there was a little teleporter thing there. I'm going to pick up this PDA. And I think at this point, if not sometime a little bit later, we realize that um, I apparently was recording without um, the wonderful program known as 
Skype. That's right, folks. This was the point when I realized that I was recording without Skype. I'm such a silly goose. Nonetheless, here we are. And there's a PDA that we need to look at before we save. Because it may tell us some vital information. Maybe. 317 is 8 for 1. Hooray! I don't even know who the heck that this is. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano. Dated September 19th, 2145. Hey, buddy. I've been brainstorming on Petruger's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers with the teleportation units. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team through, but not enough time to send in some of the heavier equipment. Engineering in the Inpro facility informed me that we can theoretically boost the active portal time to 45 seconds quite easily. But hmm. this will require rerouting power from central process. Avacan. We just can't afford the downtime. The power requirements of the system are astronomical. We're sucking power from three veins in Inpro just to power chamber one. I have no idea how we can sustain transfers for longer than 60 seconds without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. I'll sleep on this. This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off. I like how every time you hit a can at a zombie, you just flinch. Or just like, ugh, what did you do? This man was way too drunk, and he died because of robo-cola poisoning. Never drink that, folks. It will poison you and turn you into that kind of a man. That's why they're all over, because they're, they're the drink of the demons. The drink of the imps. Destroy him. No. Don't you destroy me. No rocket launcher to the face. What you deserve, you little pricks. Trying to come after me with your chain guns. It's not going to work. Also, I'm going to save. Right, we cannot go in there due to unknown circumstances. However, there is a PDA in here, which I do want. Stupid cola. We're gonna cycle Decontamination this. chamber sequence initiated. We're gonna cycle that chamber. Unfortunately, things are going to spawn. Not cool at all. Come here, man. Ow. Is there another one of your friends out there? Because I could have sworn I heard somebody. I guess not. Let's listen to this PDA. Han Lee. <laughs> you only have one email. Wow. First teleport chamber 386. Okay. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Lee, dated October 16, 2145. Why is it that I keep getting the crummy jobs? Armor Corps, 1st Platoon, and 1st Science Team were completely wiped out this morning on their second excursion. And I am the one charged with writing up the reports and sending this information back to her the next of kin. <sighs> so here I am. First cup of coffee for the day. Five hours of sleep the night before. No shower. And I have 20 dead bodies to fill out paperwork on. I haven't seen the actual corpses, but word coming down from the grapevine says that it looks like they have been hacked up pretty good. This says everyone on the base spooked. The Truger is nowhere to be found. And there are a lot of questions being asked with no answers from anyone. Last I heard, they were suiting up the next outfit with the new BFT. Sounds like they weren't taking any chances on this next trip with them packing that kind of firepower. Well, that's interesting. Let's look at your other one. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Whoopsies. on October 20th, 2145. Just when I thought this job couldn't get much worse, it did. Oh. Delta scientists sent another group of researchers through the portal two days ago and they failed to return at their scheduled time. Radio transmissions to the research body have gone unanswered. Even our LZ tracking systems can't find them. We fear that they had 
dead. <gasps> losing lives is one thing, but losing our proprietary technologies is another. The team was equipped with the newest BFG weaponry. Oh, snap. We fear those guns may have fallen into the hands of those that killed them. Call the imps! We don't know who or what is behind that portal. But until we find out where our guns are, I'm suggesting we spin operations to the portal. Thank you. End of log. No problem, buddy. We must now explore more of this horrible place. And go forth with the almighty chair that will forever block the door. Will it forever block the door? Will we ever go to hell? Will we ever find those missing BFG guns which we apparently have as of right now? Find out in the next LP. So until then folks, until then.